welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the second book in the Watcher Chronicles series. Um, this one is called Kindred, written by S.J. West. Um, so as we all know in the last book, um, Broken, it ends with us finding out that Jess is actually a vessel for one of the archangels. Her archangel is Michael. Um, and I, I guess in order for her to be able to communicate with this um, archangel, she has to find the crown and the talisman um, that goes along with the crown. So, and they didn't know this before, but once she had the crown and she got Jophiel's um, sword, she actually fell asleep and she slept for like two days because she was kind of, um, I guess, creating the connection to Michael. That way he could help her because I guess part of his soul is merged with her soul. Um, and God, God did this um, in order for them to defeat Lucifer in the final battle and actually seal the terror that he created in the last battle with Lily. Um, so as we all know that her mom and dad, and she believes, were taken through the terror. However, it turns out that they were not taken from the terror and they chose, they chose to leave her at that time. Um, the mom decided to leave her and her dad was actually a guardian of the gulf. He was somebody who actually helped create the souls up in heaven. Um, so he had to leave when she was seven years old. It was part of the deal that, that God, they made with God um, when their souls were created. Um, so as far as this book goes, it's just basically um, kind of evolving the story. Um, Mason and her relationship grows a lot stronger. Um, and they are searching for the other archangels. Apparently there's going, well there's seven archangels and they need to find seven vessels of those archangels and they will all be combined in order to stop the final battle with Lucifer. Um, so something happens to Jess's sister Faison um, that really, um, that's really not good I guess you should say. Um, she's really upset um, and she kind of just doesn't want to be around anybody anymore. She just feels like her life is over um, and something happens to take her away from Jess. Um, and Jess has to ask God for help to try and see if she's able to bring Faison back. Um, so that's where this one ends with her losing her sister Faison um, and they're trying to find a way to get her back. Um, so yeah, I really like these books. I will definitely continue talking to you guys about this one. Um, the next video is going to be Oblivion. It's the third book in the Watcher's Chronicle written by S.J. West. And until next time, enjoy the adventure.